quick revision video on calculating enthalpy changes from bond enthalpies. We'll start with some essentials. Bond enthalpy is defined as the enthalpy change when one mole of a covalent bond is broken in the gaseous state. So we can represent that by an equation like that. So we've got the molecule or the bond AB gas going to A gas plus B gas. They are always endothermic, so the delta H for all bond enthalpies will have a positive sign. And we often use mean bond enthalpies in calculations, and they will give you a slightly different answer compared to actual bond enthalpies. So we'll go through the method now as to how to calculate the delta H from bond enthalpy values, and then there's a couple of examples you can try, and then I'm going to go through the answers. So the first thing we would do is calculate the total energy needed or required to break all of the bonds in the reactant. And I tend to refer to that as energy in, E in. You would also calculate the total energy released when the bonds in the products form. That's E out. So the enthalpy change is the sum of the energy to break all the bonds in the reactant minus the sum of the energy produced when the bonds in the product are formed. Or more simply, delta H equals energy in minus energy out. So we'll put that into practice now. So the first question, you're actually going to calculate the enthalpy change, the delta H value for this reaction. So there's the reaction and the main bond enthalpy is in kilojoules per mole. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So the first thing I would advise here is to draw the equation out in displayed formula so you can actually see the bonds that are being broken and being formed. So that would look like that. And then we're going to work out the energy to break all the bonds in the reactants. So that's the E in value. So we've got 348 for our one mole of CC bonds. We've got 412 times 6 because we've got 6 moles of CH bonds. And we've got 242 for that one mole of CL, CL bonds. So that gives us a total of 3062 kilojoules per mole. And then we do the same sort of thing for the bonds formed. So this time we get an energy out of 3177 kilojoules per mole. And so the formula delta H equals the sum of the bonds broken minus the sum of the bonds formed. 3062 minus 3177, so our enthalpy change is coming out at minus 115 kilojoules per mole. So the next type of question is we've got the um, enthalpy change, we've got some of the bond enthalpy values, but one of them's missing. So we're going to calculate a missing bond enthalpy value. So if you want, again, if you want to have a look at the information, have a go at the question. Pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So for this one, we're given the delta HF, the enthalpy change of formation value for ammonia. So the equation that represents that looks like that. And remember, to fit the definition, it has to be to make one mole of ammonia, in this case, from the elements in their standard states. So to balance this, we need a half a mole of N2 and 3 over 2, or 1.5 moles of H2. And the enthalpy change for that reaction is minus 46 kilojoules per mole. So a good thing to do now is to display the bonds, so it looks like that. And then the energy in, so for the bonds broken, we've got half a mole of N2, so it's 0 0.5 times the 944, plus 1.5, or 3 over 2, times the 436 for the HH bond. That gives us a total of 11.26 kilojoules per mole. And then the bonds formed, the E out, is going to be the energy from the formation of three NH bonds. So that's our unknown. So delta H equals the formula. And then we'll put the numbers in. So minus 46, enthalpy change. Bonds broken, E in, is that value there minus those three NH bonds, and then we're just going to solve for NH. So three NHs is 1126 plus the 46, 
that's 1172 and then we're going to just divide that by 3 so we're getting 391 kilojoules per mole for the NH bond 